We live in a society where success is gauged as being wealthy, respected or famous. But how do you define success? On this episode, we talk to a very inspiring and down-to-earth persona. He has risen from rock bottom to find happiness through sobriety. Hi, my name is Raj and this is my success story. So growing up, I grew up in a regular family. I have a twin sister and a younger brother and both my parents were there. It was an Indian based uh, family, um, so a lot of culture and a lot of tradition was passed on. I grew up with a lot of low self-esteem and I had low self-esteem because I was never really happy in my own skin. Um, I, was, I felt that I was underweight and I, I felt very envious of other people around me and I was comparing myself too much and all these things led to me not feeling good about myself and growing up having low self-esteem I straight away my survival instincts kicked in that you know this is, this is, this is what I'm feeling what, what am I going to do to survive in, in, in school in high school and when I was in high school, um, I was actually around year 10. I was introduced to weed and um, this is when I thought I found something that's going to help me deal with my, my own problems within. Um, so I started smoking and um, so to fuel all these bad habits that I was having of smoking weed and everything, I started hustling a lot in school. You know, I was too busy selling phones or selling exam papers and all my objective was that time I just needed to get money so I could buy some weed and okay I did start going to raves and everything and it was about around that time that I was introduced to a lot of techno and trance music and I started going for these raves and you know at one point it was about the music and then it was about the music and drugs then it was only about the drugs there was no objective there to go and listen to music. It was, the objective was plain and simple to go and use. And I didn't realize this, that I was actually numbing my emotions of low self-esteem, um, self-centeredness, and all these emotions and all these defects that I had. I was actually numbing them by resorting to drugs. And that began my journey into drug addiction. Um, Slowly after that, I finished high school, I went off to university. Um, I didn't finish university because I was too caught up on trying to get access to drugs and I didn't get access to drugs. So what happened to me? I resorted to alcohol. As an addict, there's something we call cross addiction. And that means we can jump from one addiction to another addiction. And I jumped into alcohol. And I remember around that time, my dad uh, goes to me, he's like, I need, son, I need you to come back home, uh, take a break and then you can go back and finish. And I said, okay, fine, let me come back home. Um, so I got back home and uh, what was the, what happened to me? And it was, at that point, I thought it's the best thing that's happened to me. I came back home to my drug. I had access to that drug here. So I start, I went back into the raves and back into that life and um, I messed up in business. I messed up in my relationships. I messed up. Um, I, I eventually, towards the end of my addiction, the only thing I can remember is depression. And um, I was in severe depression. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very lucky because God gave me the gift of hitting rock bottom. You know, everybody looks at rock bottom like it's, it's something bad, you know, that happened. And to me, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. Because after I hit rock bottom is when the climb of climb to success actually started. Around that time when I hit rock bottom, um, I came clean to my family and uh, I reached out to my family and I told them that guys, look, I need help. If I don't get help, I'm going to die like this. And they accepted and they accepted me for who I was and they supported me and they gave me the right help, you know, that I needed. And I went on to Google and I looked up, you know, um, 
meetings and uh, for alcoholics, uh, the Alcoholics Anonymous program. And there were so many programs out there that I could join. And there's this one program that I joined, um, the AA program. Um, and when I walked into my first meeting, um, I found other people who are exactly just like me. And that gave me a sense of belonging. I realized that I'm no longer alone and there is a way out. All I had to do was deal with the root cause of the problem. And the root cause was drugs and alcohol. So I got the drugs and alcohol out of my body, out of my system, out of my life. But there was still a void left in me. How did I filled in this void is because I came, I started coming to believe in a power greater than myself. And I call it God. Every, and this is a God of my own understanding. And doing, having faith in this God helped me fill in this void. Every day in the morning, I would get up now, um, I would pray to God and I would ask for God's will for me. Uh, instead of running my own will, because my own will kept leading me back into the rabbit hole, you know. The only thing I got rid of was the drugs and alcohol. But the defects were still there. I still had low self-esteem. I still had depression. I still had anxiety. So how did I come about dealing with these problems? Um, let's speak of low self-esteem. I always felt that my body was not good enough uh, for me to feel happy. In. So I, I joined the gym. And what came about by joining the gym is, gym actually helped me release a natural form of dopamine and I was eventually happy. So this is something that I practice on a weekly basis. What did I come to learn about depression? Depression is actually living in the past. Anxiety is actually living in the future. I practice daily how am I going to live in the present. So what am I doing at this moment? If I'm having dinner with the family, I'm having dinner with them. That's it. My mind, I try to practice for my mind to be there in that present moment. If I am at work, I am doing work. And this is how I, it helped me deal with depression and it helped me deal with anxiety. And um, there's one thing I really look into when it comes to success. You know, success is not only based on monetary value. How I see success is through progress. If I have made any form of progress, which is even 1% better than yesterday, then today is a successful day. Uh, with this sobriety came a lot of success in my other endeavors. You know, I have a successful relationship now. I have a successful business now. I have successful friends now. Friends who have my back. And this is my success story.